Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use remote functions in Roblox Studio. So, let's get started. First of all, remote functions are a very easy way to send data to the server and then send it right back to the client. So, and they're also very useful if you are making a UI. So let's do this. So, we're gonna name this remote function that we just added, uh, well, let's call it give money and put it in replicate storage then we're going to create a part and then we'll call this part uh, actually we won't create a part let's just create a UI so create screens UI and let's call this give money because why not and ignore GUI inset and we'll add just a text button and then after this, we're gonna call this give money. And then we'll have a text label right above it to say if it gave us money or not. And this will just be invisible with selectable off. Source sans bold. And then we'll have two colors, the good color and the bad color. We'll start off with the bad color. And it says you uh, must wait five more seconds because that's what it's going to say if you press it too much and then this one right here is just going to be scaled and we'll make the color white and the background color this little beige color I have actually we'll make it this gray color 50 50 50 all in red green blue and then you guys can use the scale uh, UI scale by going to your plugins and if you don't have this you auto scale light, just go to toolbox, plugins, and then look up UI scale or UI auto scale. And it should be this one, the red one. And after you got that, you can install it and stuff. We go here and just scale, press scale on both of these for each one. And that will make it scalable on all devices. That way it doesn't look weird on either one. And then the text transparency is what we're going to use. Just change it to 1. Actually, we could just um, put this at... No, no, no. We'll just use the transparency. Actually, no, no, no. Never mind, never mind. Just uh, control X and then enter. And then we can call this give money. Give money button, and this one will be called um, result. And then we'll have a little script, local script right here, and we'll call this manage because I always call my local scripts manage whenever they're in UI. But you don't have to just call it whatever; it doesn't matter. Then we're gonna add the variables: local GUI equals script parent, local money button equals GUI find first child and the reason we use find first child is because things load um, like they load slower on the client so we have to load it in by looking at find first child so it's finding it instead of just automatically seeing it so look up give money button that's the name of this and then local result equals to money button find first child result okay then we'll have a function and we'll call this give or yeah we'll call it just give money and also we need the remote function so local money and remote equals game dot replicate storage find first child give money so function give money we'll do money uh, remote equals to or no not money remote my bad we'll do local finished result or finished result equals to money remote and I don't know why I call it money remote we'll call this money function since it's a remote function
All right. So, actually, are they called remote functions? Yeah, they are. So you could just call it remote, but it doesn't really matter. We don't call them events. Well, yeah, whatever. Money function. And for functions, we do invoke server. So this will be pulling data back. And then this will be the data. And if you want to have the finish result and then the message. So we could do that. And that's just two variables in the function that it's receiving. Invoke server. And then we don't need anything. And then in here, we'll have in server storage a value how much they have to wait. So int value. And this will be wait. And we'll have five seconds or something. Okay. Then if finish result equals to true, then, and then you can add an else also, then we can do um, result dot text color three equals two and we'll have the color so up here let's add the positive colors so local pause color equals color three dot from rgb grab our color copy this paste it we'll call this neg color like negative and then right here we can change this and to our negative color if you don't have these, you can just find one like red. There's some good ones right here. And then we can just change it to the pos positive color. And then down here, we can change the text color to the negative color since it received false or anything other. And then we can do if message. We can add the if message. But we definitely know we're going to add the message, so we don't have to do a check unless it's like an automatic system that does it or something. So we can do a negative color or result.text equals message. And then we can wait like one second. Result.text equals um, this. That way it's just empty. And then copy this, put it down here. And now we're finished with the local script. Actually, we're not. We have to do money button dot activated connect give money. There we go. And now we're finished. So now we can go to the server script service and add a script, and we'll call this give player money. Local give money equals game dot upgrade storage dot give money. Okay. And then we can also do um, a, we have to make a function. So we have to do give money. And this is actually weirder than you would think. So for remote functions, instead of just doing on server invoke or something, you have to do this where it goes give money dot on server invoke equals function. Instead of just connect function, you have to do equals function. And then you can also have the same player variable. And we can also add the local weight uh, var equals to game dot server storage dot weight. And since we're on the server, we don't have to do find first child because it uh, everything loads faster on the server, so it's already there. Then we, what we can do is do if weight var dot value is equal to zero. Then return true, and then a comma since we have two, and this would be the message. It says you have received, or we'll do how much money we're gonna give. We're gonna give five hundred, but um, we also need a leader stats, so we can add the leader stats script. And I'll show you how to do this real quick. Money, and we're not gonna make it auto save or anything. So we're gonna do plus five thousand dollars and then else or if it's less than also if it's less than or equal to zero that just means that it's less than or equal and then else we can do return false and then we can do wait var 
dot value dot dot actually we can do you must wait dot dot five or whatever it is more seconds okay now we're finished with this basically but instead of this we actually have to have the money function so up here we'll add a function call it money func equals or money function equals this and then we'll have the player variable and right here we'll have also instead of return true oh also there also um my bad there's also remote uh, remote or not remote my bad bindable functions which are like the same as this and you can receive from other scripts that's also very useful. If you want to see a video on that, I'll show you guys how to do binary events and bindable functions. Okay, so we already know it's going to be plus 5,000, but we can also just go up here and do local money given. So this is actually money to give equals to 5,000. And then we'll have this dot dot money to give. That way we don't have to, that way we can just change it whenever. And then, right up here we can do money function, and then player. That way it's going to give them the money. And in the money function, we can't do it yet because we actually have to give the leader stats so they can see their money and stuff. So this is actually really easy. All you have to do is do local or actually my bad we're gonna do game dot players dot player added connect function player local folder equals instance dot new folder player folder dot name equals leader stats local cache equals instance dot new int value player cache dot name equals to cache and that's it that's all we got to do and then we can do if player dot or if player find first child leader stats then we can do we can do um, player dot leader stats dot cash dot value plus equals money to give okay and now we are done. So let's go ahead and press play. And we press give money. Cash is not a valid member. Oh, yep, we also did one thing wrong here. Uh, since cash is not a valid member of the leader stats, it sends it to the server real quick. So it's not a valid member of leader stats. Make sure. Oh, yeah, we did player. I knew that was going to happen. You just have to put folder instead of play right there that sets the parent so now plus five thousand dollars goes away and there we go now it's giving us money and we're basically rich as you can see but there is no debounce so we're just infinitely gaining money so what we're gonna do here is add a function that makes the weight so we can do a while wait and the while wait if we do a while wait, we can do if player.leaderstats.cache. Actually, my bad, my bad. We're going to do if game.serverStorage.wait.value is not equal to zero or is not less, or less than or equal to zero, then, and then else. If game dot surge dot weight dot value is less than or equal to zero, or we have to do if not, so if not game, and then we can do this. So that just makes it so it makes sure that they're not uh, like the weight value is not less than zero, and then we can do else. Actually, let's just get rid of the not. And then 
down here in the else. So if it is less than, we can do game dot server storage dot weight dot value equals to um, weight max. So whatever it's gonna set the weight to. So local weight max equals five seconds. And then else game dot server storage dot weight dot value minus equals one. And we should actually do weight one after this. Uh, hold on. Yeah. All right. So I'll wait one after that. That should work. So if we do get money, you must wait two more seconds. You must wait four, three, two, one. And as you can see, it works. Except there might be an issue. Yeah. Okay. So we did have an issue. What we're gonna do here? If game dot value or is less than or equal to if if it's greater than zero, we'll just do if it's greater than zero, then we do this, and then on server invoke we do this game dot server storage dot weight dot weight dot value equals weight max, and now it should work. So we go ahead and press play. Wait three more, wait two more, one, and it works. Nice. Alright, so that's all for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.